know, I've been with Four Roses, you might say, for 47 years. That counts the time when it was owned by Seagram's as well as the time that it's been owned by the Karen Brewery. I think it's the people, the cohesive character of everybody that's really been around for a while. We're all like brothers. You know, it's quite an honor because it wasn't asked for. I had no idea it was going to happen. And when they presented me with the uh, invitation to, to be uh, involved in that, I just went, oh. Because people work their whole life in an industry sometimes and don't get that kind of recognition. I thought it was overwhelming, actually. Well, among my other duties, my, my primary objective is to preserve the history of Four Roses, uh, and that involves checking emails and giving people answers on historical questions, as well as uh, answering emails about the product in some ways. The other side of that is uh, I give VIP tours to people that want them. I travel the country and uh, uh, try to get the word out about Four Roses Bourbon. Uh, Jim Rutledge uh, travels as well, but we figured we'd split our shot and, <laughs> and uh, get more interest built for the brand that way. Well, you know, I guess out of all of the stuff that we've collected over the years, the one bottle from Prohibition sticks most vividly in my mind because it, it has the prescription on the back and it, it was kind of pristine in nature and it says to take two ounces in hot water, but it doesn't say how often. Well, Four Roses has survived any and everything that you can think of, mostly. When I say mostly, it's gone through uh, wars, World War I, World War II. It survived Prohibition because it was sold as a medicinal whiskey at that time. I like something that's got a hint of oak. I also like a little bit of spice. Uh, I like something that's smooth going down. Uh, and I, I just think that most of the, the bourbons that we produce at Four Roses do that. And when I say most, it, it, the art is in the mingling, like in our small batch, to make that come out.